Okay, so uh, here I'm on my testing uh, GarageBand on the iPad. As you can see, I have the uh, camera kit uh, connection connected to a USB microphone, blue. Now, uh, this test is more of, of the virtual instruments because, yeah, you could plug in, uh, you know, any kind of uh, professional instrument or whatever in, in, into uh, this thing to get a, a decent, you know, sound depending on if you know how to play or not. But this is is going to show you how, how you can really uh, make a song very uh, rapidly and, and fast. I just did this uh, while I was waiting uh, for the dentist in, I'd say, about uh, 15 minutes. Um, came home and, you know, obviously plugged in the mic here. Uh, I would like to maybe get a, uh, you know, run run a auto-tune through, through a few of these uh, apps. The way I figured out how to create content on the iPads and iOS is uh, graphically and sonically is is through uh, processing multiple applications because there isn't really one application that does everything that you want it to do. Uh, this comes pretty damn close, uh, but you know, so I might want to run my my voice through through uh, some other vocal processing that this doesn't have or what have you. But um, this is more testing the, the uh, soft instrument. So this is what it, what it came up with. Uh, it's really really. Uh, Sounds pretty good. This is more of a classic. I'm into electro, you know, so I love to bang the bass. But this, this is just, you know, uh, sort of an outlet, uh, bluesy. I don't know really what what to call it. But uh, yeah, yeah, just listen, and then I'll go ahead and show you how I went and and made these. with the acoustic guitar. No bass. This is the piano. Don't you want to love me? So I'm really impressed uh, with this vo vocal we, uh, this is unprocessed um, besides the the compressor and and uh, uh, reverb that's, that's built in into it uh, a really nice compressor I had to compress it to bring it up and and with this uh, blue mic it's it's really uh, very very nice um, I know crackle nothing it's I'm very impressed uh, so if you are you know a traditional musician I'm very pretty much Positive. I mean, you can do anything you want in this garage band. Now, I mean, I obviously use multiple audio things on my computer from uh, Ableton to Logic, uh, you know, and make my own audio applications and, and these types of things. Uh, but I, I used to be a firm believer that, that the garage band was a really uh, simple but yet elegant uh, DAW that let you be able to load in your own uh, audio unit plugins, which was great. Now, if we had audio unit plugin in MIDI support, uh, with this garage band, it would be just simply amazing. Um, but hey, this is all going to come soon. You know, I mean, this is MacBook Air here is is uh, same size, pretty much as the iPad, and it runs uh, OS X. So uh, this is iPad one. Eventually, we won't have any restrictions on the machine, so we'll, we'll be able to do whatever we want. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do some of these uh, smart instruments. So I've been recording about four minutes. I got about five minutes to try to do this. Let's see if we can do it in uh, five minutes. So uh, first thing, let's go in and uh, save that song. 
Uh, oh, I don't know if I wanted to save it muted there, but whatever. Uh, let's make a new song. New song. So let's see. Let's just start with Smart Drum. I went there first. Um, you know, we got a nice hip hop machine. We got this little thing down here. Uh, we roll the dice. Yeah, yo, this is D.O. Bosch, if you see the fly MC, you know, go down with the slow glide of the high rise. The low fidelity puts me in the melody for the evening's ride to the sky. I stand alone on the throne, I built in my dome, waiting for my queen to bring me to my eternal dream. Yeah, uh, what? So we got some of that shit, and then we got some, some of this, like, electro. You can keep rolling dice. Yeah, back that shit up. What? Uh. Woo! So you got a couple of those little things, but it's not like, you know, we got house. I mean, this is sort of kind of housey. So you can program your own drums, I'm thinking, possibly. I haven't got to that. These are just smart drums. You can remember, we're doing this fast. So uh, let's just go to Live Rock Kit. Find one we like, record it in. Just a simple one. That'll work. So I don't know if that's a random. It seems maybe it's a random roll of dice. Uh, that's probably what that signifies there. So let's go ahead and uh, hit record. Okay, so that recorded the eight measure loop. Now, uh, for the sake of argument, yes, I can go in four measure and then loop it uh, in, in your tracks view here. Um, but uh, let's just keep it eight bars just to, to, to be simpler. Uh, so let's go and uh, add a new instrument. Um, I'm gonna do smart guitar next. Probably gonna have to put this, uh, this down my uh, iPod here, so. Let's see if I can get a, uh... well first, what we want to do uh, is go into our wrench up here and then uh, set a key uh, for the track. So we want to go minor, I'm going to do an A minor, okay? And then I'm also uh, going to go over here to the, the um, settings uh, and put a quantization down of a sixteenth note. I don't know if that records in or not. You can probably do that afterwards. But uh, let's go ahead and just lay down a little bit of guitar uh, on top of this. So you can see you have your notes and then your whole chord. I'm not sure how to how to play it backwards. There's this really nifty feature here where you have a little auto play. Um, that's well, interesting, but we're we're gonna go autoplay off because there's only four settings on that, and we want to you know sort of make our own sort of thing. Now you can go here to obviously other guitars. Let's just keep it acoustic. Uh, here we go. Well, we got eight minutes, so I'll probably have to make a part two for this. But here we go. I'm gonna put this down. So we're ready to record that. <laughs> 